so I promised this video a while ago and I just haven't got around to making it until now but here we go. So this is going to be a video on how I make my Source Filmmaker Roblox thumbnails which have appeared in pretty much every video that isn't just like a quick you know high score low misses thing. Yeah that's basically about it. So there are a few things you need if you want to make Roblox stuff specifically in Source Filmmaker. First thing you'll need is RBX to Source by Maxim ADHD. Basically, um, lets you compile your game to a bunch of different Source games, including Half-Life 2, TF2, and Source Filmmaker. They're all interchangeable. I have it set to Half-Life 2 because it's not detecting any of the other games. I had to move Half-Life 2 to the C drive in order for it to be detected and I imagine if you have Source Filmmaker on your C drive it'll show up there as well. Um, but yeah, all you have to do is just put your username in, click compile and it should appear in Source Filmmaker if you have it set to this. I don't but sure you know how to drag and drop stuff but if you don't I'll just like go over real click during the tutorial bit. Uh, the second thing that I use are these green screen panels by Daz Mats. They are very helpful for actually making the render transparent and you'll see how that goes in a whole little bit. And for this tutorial I'm using this 3D Source Filmmaker logo by Sixpix. So then, let's get started. So this will be an example of how to actually set, compile it for other games and then moving it to Source Filmmaker. Basically just choose a name, we'll just go with Builder Man just because. There he is. Then we just hit compile. And it'll say finished model, assembled in seconds. So now you want to go to your Half-Life 2 folder. In my case, it'll be in the C drive. Steam, Steam apps, common, Half-Life 2, HL2. And in models, you just have Roblox assets or, or avatars, because you can actually um, add assets as well. But in this case, we're going with avatars. So we're going to control C this, open up the source filmmaker folder and I'm going to put them in user mod. So you go into models and paste. Ignore that because for some reason it's double pressing stuff. I don't know why it just does. If we go into Roblox avatars now, builder man's there. And we have to do the same for the materials. So materials, grab these models, grab the Roblox avatars, user mod, materials, Models and paste. I'm going to skip them because there's a bunch of other stuff in there. As you can see, Builder Man, everything's there. So now let's actually get into Source Filmmaker. Um, when you start up with Source Filmmaker, yours will not look like this. I've changed the layout of it so that it's more suitable for my my sake. But obviously, yours will be the default. I won't get into how you change it here because it's. It'll, it'll be different for everybody, what their favorite layout is, but this is mine. So you'll notice I've loaded up this map called Black Underscore Void. It's a map that automatically comes pre-installed with Source Filmmaker. And it is, well, a black void. If you right click, turn off enable lighting. And there it is. I just like moving towards the center here and lowering the field of view using the scroll wheel. It makes things just look a lot nicer. So yeah, if we go to new model and enter our, the Roblox username we just did, for example, build a man. Here it is. There he is, the man himself. But of course, we don't want that. We want Chaotix. Now here's the thing. If you have multiple um, costumes, you can actually have multiple of the same username here. So what I've done is in also the Source Filmmaker folder, if I go back, I've included a thing called Roblox Backup and Black Mage, uh, user mod, oh, hang on, whoops, need to copy everything in the folder, you fool, user mod and paste, replace, One here. That looks a bit weird. Rescan. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, that's not supposed to happen. Oh wait, no, I know why. I know why. 
Hang on. Do that. Reload our materials. That's better. <laughs> Whoops. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's your Roblox model in Source Filmmaker. Now, if you know how to use Source Filmmaker, this is really good for you. If you don't, however, I'm just going to do a, a little quick time lapse of the posing and such. This is R15, so you do have the little bendy arms if that's your sort of thing. Of course, you can always just use these joints if you want, like an R6 experience. But I prefer using R15 for Source Filmmaker, so. Just get into it. So if you couldn't tell from the footage, I used a slightly different version of room lighting and that basically makes it like super easy in case, you know, doing it normally doesn't work. And I think it works quite well for like something like this. I'm going to see if turning up the radius actually might make it slightly better. Yeah, I think that's perfect. So yeah, I'll leave a link to themes is spilled beans guide which actually goes into more detail about this specific form of room lighting as well as a bunch of other cool things about source filmmaker because it is a very good guide so i think we're almost done with source filmmaker the one thing we need to add now is our green screen normally if you if you are using green screen then that's great and all but I want mine to be like perfect, just straight up perfect, perfect transparency. So what I'm going to do is to set the skin to three, which will turn it white. I'm going to hide that for now, and we're going to render this in 4K. So I shall see you when that is done. Now, if you want to render things higher than 720p, I'll leave the instructions on how you do that in the description. But for now, yeah, I think this looks great. So we are going to render this. Render's movie image sequence 2160 paint just um one frame and yes and there we go that's that rendered now the point of this white screen is to turn off all of the lights to get something like this then we export that as well and there we go now we're moving on to Photoshop 
All right, so we have both of these in the same project. I guess you could say Photoshop document, whatever. So I have the black and white layer over this and obviously the original layer below that. So I'm going to go into channels, click this button, press delete there. And that is it. <laughs> Congratulations, you have made a transparent Roblox render. One thing I like to do, just to make sure it is completely transparent, is do that. And there we go. And for the background of the thumbnail, I'm going to be using this uh, same image I used for my previous all animations video, which is the dust tail one. The background from Papyrus thing. Uh, and I am going to slightly edit it so that it's a little bit nicer. To do this, maybe slightly desaturate. Yeah. And then do a little bit of Gaussian blur. There we go. All right, I think this is actually a pretty good thumbnail. I mean, I hope it is. If, it, if you clicked on the video, then I'm going to assume it worked. Um, not sure about the skew though, actually. I think I'm going to tone that down slightly. Just slightly though, not, not, not by much. Yeah, that's perfect. Right, I think this is good to go now. So, um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave some in the comments below. Like I said, this basically assumes you have at least some knowledge of Source Filmmaker. But even if you don't, I'd still be willing to help you. So again, feel free to leave any comments and I shall see you all next video. See you later.